All right, cool. Actually, can I call you back? All right, thanks. Peaks. Hey guys, in this video, we're talking about the Mutable Instruments Peaks module. So this module has been around for a while and it's really quite popular in the Eurorack community and for good reason. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it's effectively a Swiss Army Knife type module and it's got eight different modes of operation. So it can behave like an ADSR envelope generator, an LFO, a tap tempo LFO. You can even have a bass drum and a snare drum generated from it. And then you have four bonus modes of operation. So a mini sequencer, a trigger sort of delay unit, a trigger randomizer, and finally sort of like a simplified digital drum synth. So if we go over the front panel, it's really quite simple. You have your two trigger inputs here and your two outputs here. You can trigger manually via the button or use an external signal in the gate input here. Then you have your four knobs, which are your primary controls to tweak the parameters. And these change functionality depending on what mode you have selected. And then you actually have three different sort of ways of operating the module. You have split mode, twin mode, and expert mode. In twin mode, all four knobs control one parameter, but that parameter is shared between the two channels. In split mode, you actually divide so you can tweak the parameters separately for output one and two, but then you get sort of a simplified version of the parameters you can change because you only have two knobs per functionality, these two for one and these two for two. Expert mode sort of gives you a hybrid of the two, so you have four knobs to control the full extent of the parameters and you get independent control of those for the two different channels. All right, that was a brief tour. I'm just gonna quickly rapid fire through all the different modes of operation to give you sort of a sense of what you can do. So let's get started. All right, here we have the envelope generator. So we have ADSR controls in twin mode and we can trigger our sound. Turn it into more of a pad or something more plucky, for example. In split mode, this turns into attack decay, attack decay, so you get independent control of the two channels. Next up, we have the LFO, so you have your standard frequency control, waveform control. You have a waveform variant, so depending on what wave you have selected, it'll either fold the wave or manipulate it in certain ways, or pulse width modulate and etc. And then you have your phase restart, so whenever the LFO gets re-triggered, it'll offset the phase by some amount. And in split mode, you get frequency wave, frequency wave for the two separate channels, so you can set different values. Tap tempo is the same as an LFO, except the first knob controls the amplitude instead of the frequency, and you set the frequency by tap tempoing on the button here. And in split mode, this gets simplified to waveform and waveform variant for both channels. In drum mode, trigger one triggers a bass drum, trigger two triggers a snare drum. And your controls are frequency, FM, high frequency content, and decay. In split mode, you get bass drum controls up here and snare drum controls down here, where the first knob is tone and the second knob is some parameter specific to either the bass drum or the snare drum for snappiness, etc. The first bonus mode, you get a four channel mini sequencer where each knob controls the step CV. In split mode, it turns into two different mini sequencers of two channels each, where the first two knobs control the two steps for the first channel, and the second two knobs control the CV for the second channel. In the trigger delay mode, the trigger gets repeated based on some parameters here. So you have a pre-delay control, you have the gate length, the delay, and the number of repeats. So if I just trigger it normally, and then if I increase the number of repeats, you can decrease the delay, reduce the length, increase the length, and add a bit of pre-delay. In split mode, this reduces the delay and number of repeats for each step individually. The third bonus mode is a trigger randomizer. So the first knob controls the probability that the input will get processed. The second knob controls the probability that the signal will get regenerated. And then you have delay and jitter. So you can effectively feed it a gate and then output a gate that is sort of like a randomized jittery version of that gate. So if I bring up the probability here. So I'm feeding it a standard steady clock, but what we're getting out of it is this kind of random pulsing. 
And finally, we have a digital drum synth. So you have frequency, FM intensity, AM, FM, envelope decay, and color for adding noise or distortion. So if we trigger one of those, you get more of a snare drum. On the other side, you get more of a distorted kick drum. So you get these really nasty kicks. And in split mode, we get independent controls, but two uh, simplified versions of the controls. So I would highly recommend you check this module out. It's fairly inexpensive, it's super small, and it's very versatile. And I feel like I, anytime I'm in the middle of a patch, I always find a use for it, whether it be an LFO, an ADSR, or something simple like that, or just adding like a snare drum or kick drum to a patch. All right, hopefully you found this interesting. Make sure to like this video if you like it. Subscribe if you like synthesizers, and I'll see you guys in the next one. franken <laughs> Beaks. <laughs>